you haven't read or heard, Roy Moore reminisced about the foundings of this country and talked about how wonderful families were then, cultural heritage, and the pride people took in their country. Newsflash! There's nothing culturally to be proud of during the foundings of this country. The Constitution was the only good thing that came out of it, and that had to be amended so many times because of all the things that were left out. The mindsets that were around during the founding of this country were a pile of garbage. The way natives were treated, the way anyone who wasn't white was treated, and yes, the white supremacist mindset that was pretty much standard back then. Oh, but it was a different time. Well, of course it was a different time. It doesn't matter if it was a different time. White supremacy was the mindset back then, and to question white supremacy back then was to cause controversy. The way it still is currently, it doesn't matter until it matters to a white person. It doesn't matter until it matters to a rich person. There could be a problem in a black community for 20 years and nothing gets done about it, but the moment it starts getting in the news about it happening to any white communities, something needs to be done about it immediately. Now, as I've said before, it should be a given that those in the majority are used to having products, services, and other things geared the most towards them, whether physically or culturally. But it seems that even this sort of basic understanding goes over a lot of people's heads, which is why a lot of SJWs get so frustrated and nasty when trying to describe it using scholarly wording while filled with ideological bullshit. When we're reading about something horrible happening to a community, we mustn't think to ourselves, Oh, well, that's one of those communities. That's on them. If they're too stupid to get out of that kind of thinking, I don't really care. If that's the kind of thing you're thinking, remember that if it happened to you in your community, if you have a community, you would be upset. Certain brands of that kind of thinking, about other groups, are culturally left over and passed down from the days of slavery. Little bitty leftovers. The idea of Roy Moore and others culturally pining for the times of slavery should concern us very much, especially when the people pining for those times also think this country was founded to promote Christian principles. You know, the Dominionists. Roy Moore's statements should concern a lot of people. His pedophilia is just the tip of the iceberg. Honestly, if he gets voted in, it proves how backwards we really are in this country. If he gets voted in, we have no validity to get angry when Americans get stereotyped really badly by the rest of the world. We are the world's nuclear laughingstock. The rest of the world is terrified by us while at the same time gets some great political entertainment from us.